Okay, guys, well, we're here. Um, I am in Peora, Arizona, which is right outside of Phoenix, uh, here for the close quarters combat with Fieldcraft Survival. Um, the area that we're in right now was called Cowtown. This is actually an old, um, what I believe is like an old movie set uh, where they would come in and shoot westerns and things like that. Obviously, the, uh, the area is extremely remote, but this is a sprawling compound um, with multiple areas to shoot, uh, to train long distance, short distance, and then we've got the, the, the firehouse uh, where you'll be doing some close quarters uh, stuff today. So I have no idea what to expect. Um, I am a complete novice uh, at this type of stuff. So I'm coming here with a completely open mind and, um, and just looking to experience this and, and have fun and learn. I think that for, for security guards specifically, we really need to uh, look for opportunities to try and get outside of our comfort zone. These are things that if you're in law enforcement, if you're a police officer, if you're military, obviously these are things that are being taught to you on a, on a somebody's going full auto right now. These are things that are being taught to you, but you know, it's highly unlikely that you're gonna need to utilize this in security, but it's great to know, guys. It's great to know and it's good to stretch yourself and get out there and do different things. So. Hopefully this is the first of many experiences and uh, I'm not sure what I'll be able to share with you guys. I'll be able to get any video or interviews, but looking forward to being out here today. It is super, super hot and um, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right. All right. We're here with Joel Marks, Hillcraft Survival. Um, I served in the Marine Corps for 11 years, finishing off in uh, the Marine Raider Battalion. I was a, I was, I was a Raider. Um, so I spent a significant amount of time doing CQB. Now, um, the CQB that I was taught is vastly different than the CQB that we are going to learn today. And the reason behind that is when I was going in, when I was doing CQB, it was generally I was in a stack of guys. There were four, two, four, ten other guys ready to go into the building with me, right? Today, we're not going to have that luxury. Can you talk about the um, um, the benefit of reducing some of these more tactical ideas to just everyday life? I think a lot of people take for granted that close quarters combat is basically just clearing a room for you know your own personal home or your business. Um, can you just talk about the benefit of boiling that down to a reduction for the everyday person? Yeah, so I mean, I, I think CQB is tactical as it sounds is a is a very beneficial thing for everybody to pay attention to we see a lot of these active shooter situations or uh, as we've talked about people coming into their homes and it's it's a skill that people overlook because it seems too tactical when I come into a room okay so I've made the decision whatever is in this room whatever I've seen in here has caused me to want to enter the room okay I'm going to show you a cross technique crossing through this threshold to get into this room if I'm on this side use your imagination that this door is not here for now I can see across here right? I can see what's going on in this room this space is more blind to me than anything. so this would be more of a change of a direction to come check this space but if I'm coming from over here and I just want to cross across this space it's super simple I've seen most of the room I step across and I can see into this space now and now instead of like I said instead of occupying this space instead of stepping into it as soon as I step in I want to fan my field of view across the room and make sure that everything else is clear okay. and if we can make it seem a little more approachable a little more natural and something that we do anyways on an everyday basis um, it encourages people to pay attention to things that they may not otherwise pay attention to um, spaces that they can't see into a room, stuff like that, and areas that we're, maybe they want a little more information um, to keep themselves safer. Does that make sense to everybody? Copy. I don't want you to plant yourself in one space. There's a difference, like if you walk in and all of a sudden there's a bookshelf or it's a small room and you're just like, okay, I can't go anywhere. But in a big space like this, just move through. I mean, that can take place every day, wherever they go, whatever they're doing. It doesn't have to be an active shooter situation. You made a very good point. We have some kids that are here that are training and you said you do this every day. Like you are walking past a room, you see your parents in the room and you don't want to deal with them. So you kind of sneak around and go to the next room. That's like right. that was yeah, a great, 
a great allegory. Yeah, if you don't like what's on the TV, keep moving down the hallway. If Absolutely. you don't like the information that you see or, or it's not enough and you want to go into the room, do it. So if I'm coming in, I'm just going to cross and check. Everything is good here. Now I'm looking around at all of you, back to that other space that I couldn't see from the outside. But I don't want to just turn and check this space and ignore all of this on the way. I want to use our eyes, our depth perception, our situational awareness to check all of this space and then the space behind us. Oh. If you get enough and you want to move on, do it. And that's CQB. Thank you. Okay.